Oh my god. How? Aperture sent me a baby in a box. How did you even survive the shipment? Come here. What's your name, baby? Are you okay? Are you? Whoa! Aperture customer service. Are you sleepy? Hi, um, I ordered uh, the 120D Mark II and the light wasn't in the box, but there was a baby in the box. Um, I definitely think you should call the police, sir. Um, but I can definitely read that light for you. Thank you. That I mean, that would be great. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Well, that was unplanned. I know that the appeal of these unboxing videos, the satisfaction of an unboxing video, is seeing it be unboxed for the first time, and I robbed you of that, so I'm sorry. But I think we all got a little bit of a laugh out of seeing the boo-boo. She's the star of the show. Let's try this again. That was so quick and unsatisfying compared to what it would have been, but here we are. Oh, oh, it's heavy. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. It comes in a carrying case. That is pretty sweet. I think we need baby approval first. Do we need baby approval? Do you like that? I think you she approve? likes it. I think she likes it. All right, let's peek inside here, see what we got. For those of you that don't know, Aperture is spelled different than the traditional word Aperture. Um, it's actually a French company. It's pronounced Aputur. All right, first look. There's a lot of stuff in here. Ooh, okay, there we go. We have our reflector. Pretty standard, power cable. Let's go for the small stuff. Some decals. We have a remote. We have uh, this little red thing. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. What else we got? Um, I think this is just associated li literature. This is a really, really awesome carrying case. It's got foam blocks. It's segmented. Like, this is legit. And here we are. The light itself. Wow, that's cool. You can see the fan on the inside. I mean, this looks like a strobe. Like, if I didn't know any better, I would think that this was a photography light. Oh, yeah, check this bad boy out. It's got a battery V-mount on the back. I know what this thing is. This thing is an 80s cell phone. Yes, hello? Yeah, I would like to buy 10,000 shares of Apple. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. There is a manual. I can have a light operator just holding the light with the soft box, which is what we're gonna open next. And this thing on their shoulder, and we can go anywhere with a big, nice, soft light. How freaking cool is that? Here is the silk for the dome. Yes, this is the most important thing. So what this does is when the light dome is open and the diffusion's on it. You stick this bad boy in there and it takes the spread of your light from this, brings it down to that. Let's say you wanna do like a nice looking interview setup, but your walls are white and you don't have anything for negative fill, you don't have any floppies or you don't have any styrofoam boards that are painted black. This, like I said, will cut your beam down. That way you don't have light going everywhere. You don't have it bouncing off the walls. You don't have ambient fill coming in where you don't want it. This is a very, very valuable piece of equipment. If you don't already have one of these for whatever lights you use, you should get one. And here we are, let's test this baby out. I'm being keyed right now by my window and I'm about to turn on the Aperture 120D with the light dome over here to my left. Here we go. Right on. Let me just bring it down to 1% real quick. There's 1%. Now you can see right here, very, very subtle fill. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cycle it up to about 50%. And just for shits and giggles, let's push it all the way to 100. That's pretty bright, but that's a good thing because you can take this out on the go doing run and gun and you can compete with the sun. If, if you're shooting something and you've got a blown out background, you can do supplemental fill with this pretty good to even out the exposure in your frame, especially if you're shooting with a DSLR or something that has less dynamic range than a cinema camera. Let me just bring this back down a little bit to about 50. Let's see. That's just about at the level where the light is keying me and my window is doing my fill. I could probably bump it up just a little bit. There we go. Now if I bring it down, I'm being keyed by my window and being filled by the Aperture 120D. I like just having subtle key from the Aperture 120D and fill from my window right over there. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. If you shoot with this light, tell me how you like to use it. The next video I'm gonna do with this is gonna be going over the light effects like TV, fireworks, lightning, and what's called paparazzi, which is just imitating the flash from a camera. So again, thank you for watching. I'm VH Josh, I'll see you guys in the next one.